The virtue as a teacher, it's, it's a, not exactly a new look at teaching. Um, it's really trying to take the teacher into new realms of, of work where what we do is done to the highest possible level, um, to the highest degree of effectiveness for all our pupils. All our pupils deserve top class teaching and if we observe a certain number of principles and strategies, I think we can get there for all our pupils. What makes Paul the right author for The Virtuoso Teacher is actually his extraordinary experience, balanced with an incredible modesty, which to be honest he shouldn't have, mm -hmm. um, which means that he can speak and reflect on many decades of experience. He's a great observer of people and he really, when he talks about the virtuoso teacher, he's talking about teachers who he has experience of. But of course the irony is that for his friends and for those people who work with him, he is the consummate virtuoso mm. teacher. I worked on clarinet basics, which was an absolute joy <clears throat> to work on from the very start. I mean, I think the thing about Paul is he's got this kind of childlike enthusiasm which <clears throat> any creative person really needs. I mean, he's always researching into new things. He's always uh, obsessing about a new composer. He's always uh, digging up an obscure poet um, and thinking, yes, this would make a great little setting for something as, as small and essentially insignificant as a sort of sight reading or sight seeing exercise. And then he just turns it into gold. I think when you write a book about teaching, um, it can so often be from a very clinical side. And I think Paul is not a clinical, like, he's not a clinical teacher, he's not a clinical person. He is very, very personal about what he does. He listens, he is interested in the individual, and he understands that actually every student is different and takes a personal approach. And he's actually interested in difference. He's not, he's not somebody who will just export his particular way of doing things. He, he will, he will mould his ways in, 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 to, to to, to support the students. So yes, I think he is virtuous in the fact that he doesn't come with a fixed plan and that's what makes a virtuous teacher. Not only every teacher should buy this book, but every parent should buy this book. Um, as, a, as his publisher, but also as a parent myself. The thing that has struck me most in reading it is that you realise that many teachers are restrained by demands given to them by the teachers who are paying for their children to have those lessons. And that actually, if parents could just think about what experiences they want their, their mm. kids to have, um, it would totally transform. Mm. It would give teachers permission to teach in the way they should and to actually buy into the way that Paul thinks. Mm. And, and I think everyone should read it, not just teachers.